yo, yo, what's some chicken to go? It's Vach Lombardi. Um, here with a Dallas Cowboys video. Uh, Randy Gregory has been um, has been let free. He's out on bail, fresh out of jail, California dreaming. And um, I wanted to discuss how I think the depth chart is going to be mixed around a little bit. How does him, how does him coming back affect uh, what we're going to do up front with the D-line rotation? First and foremost, I just want to let y'all know these are my week five starters, okay? Um, we all know David Irving is uh, he's uh, he's now caught up in the system, so he's down for four games. But uh, this is my week five guy. Until then, Jahad Ward is going to be right there. But <clears throat> um, I don't I don't think Randy Gregory is going to start right away. You know what I mean? Um, he's going to have to work himself back into shape. I think he's going to be a rotational pass rusher. That's fine. He, he's he's going to have to earn his keep. And to be fair, Tyron Crawford is one of the leaders on our team. And Demarcus Lawrence just came off of this uh, outstanding Pro Bowl year. So there's no sitting those two guys. So um, as far as week five goes, I do think Randy Gregory will be a, a rotational guy. But if you watch film on uh, that last 2000, what, 16 year um, versus Detroit and Philadelphia, Randy Gregory was definitely in the rotation. He didn't start, but he got a gang of snaps. So um, don't let him not starting deter you from thinking that Randy Gregory is going to make his money. He 100 percent will. Now, of course, with starting lineups, you know, we get rotational type moves or whatnot. So I do think Randy Gregory will at some point rotate with this first group. But notice things are a little different here. We're going to put Demarcus Lawrence on the left side of the um, of the offensive line. Now, here, Demarcus Lawrence is our right defensive end and Tyron Crawford is our left defensive end. OK, if you put Tyron Crawford on the bench and rotate these guys out, then you fit Demarcus Lawrence at his left defensive end spot where he belongs right and last year um that's where demarcus lawrence got most of his sacks from from the left defensive end spot uh where he damn belongs and you know we we took advantage of some matchups but with demarcus lawrence playing left end we would have to sacrifice something at right end right like we would sacrifice like we would put tyron crawford on the weak side he's a, he, he doesn't fit there benson mayo would 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 go there taco would go there and they simply don't fit that mold randy gregory is a true right defensive end and if he comes in to get play time that's where he's going to line up and it's going to push demarcus lawrence to the left spot where he belongs okay uh with malik collins and david irving in uh in the interior at a at a three and one now, which one is going to play which? Well, sometimes David can play one. Sometimes Malik can play three. Uh, how this defense runs, they're pretty much interchangeable or whatnot. So, um, you know, there, there's not really any any need to put labels on these guys. Now, the outside guys, they're, they're going to be what they are. In this lineup that we see, Gregory is going to be at right. Lawrence is going to be at left. Uh, but mostly Malik at one. David Irving at three. Now, like I said, this is the um, week five situation. You know, if it's week one, uh, we take out we take out David Irving and we insert Jahad Ward. So um, that's just what that is. But let's keep on looking. Now, I do think we have solid depth at our at our D line. Like this, this is something that we haven't had for the most part. Jahad Ward, man. A lot of people have reservations about him, and we have Oakland fans coming on to our videos hating on Jahad Ward because he wasn't uh, productive in Oakland. They had that man playing two gap defensive end. I got film to prove it. I'll show you. Um, uh, Jahad Ward is not that guy. Jahad Ward is a one gap upfield destruction type of dude very long you know he he's kind of built like david irving as well so if david doesn't come back on the on the team next year he can be a contingency plan of sorts depending on how he does um i mean we can re we can um rotate guys at this one tech spot right here uh you know price ash uh jones can play uh can play the one tech spot and, and like i said some of those guys are three tech some you know but but they can't play one um, so just as a as a full bench, if we have to run the bench out there to get uh, just to get, you know, solid, uh, you know, solid rotation time, let the let the uh, first team catch a breath. We can do that. We can put price at one. Jahal Ward at three. Now you see Randy Gregory's right there, right? Randy Gregory is getting starting time. Sure. However, 
in this particular rotation said Randy Gregory could be rushing next to Jahai Ward, uh, Brian Price, and uh, Taco Charlton. That's not a bad second team, right? And these and these guys, I don't know how many how many snaps they're gonna get, but it should be a solid number of snaps. I mean, they're not gonna be out there all day, but um. This is a cool little, <laughs> a cool little go. I mean, yes, they're not the first team, but you know, I mean, they're not out there stanking it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, Taco Charter. I I fully expect Taco Charter to step up and be uh, quasi better than what he was last year. Um, he started to kind of uh, figure it out towards the uh, towards the back end of the um, the back end of the season. Sure, fine, cool. That's okay. Um, but Taco definitely fits the left end mode. I also got some some other plans for Taco. Keep watching. Um, but if Randy Gregory's at, at the right defensive end, ain't ain't nothing happening with Taco but left defensive end. What if we need to switch this up a little bit? What if Randy just came out on the field with the first team and we need to switch up defensive ends again? You got your rookie. Dorrance Armstrong, don't forget about him. He's also a long – we got a lot of long defensive ends, man. Shouts out to the Cowboys defense. We seem to, you know, find trends and in, 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 in guys that we want. All of our DBs are tall, long guys. All of our defensive ends are long-armed, physical, you know, da-da-da, boom, boom, boom. Um, whether it be Randy, David Irving can play defensive end. Dorrance Armstrong, Taco Charlie, they all have long arms. So, um, you know, length is is very is very important to this team, you know, covering up their real estate. But in situation where um, Randy's on the field already and we need somebody to replace him, insert Dorrance Armstrong. Um, like I said, you can move Price to three tech, bring in Dayton Jones, maybe put him at three. You know, you can you can you can mix and match a lot of things here. But uh, I do think the the consistency lies with Taco Charlton at uh, left defensive end. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Wolski. Salute. This what y'all want to see right here. This right here put the satin on the panties. This put the nipple on the titty. This got y'all having wet dreams out here when it comes down to, to third and long, fourth quarter. You know, the 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 opposite team is uh they're they're down by you know 10 points or something like that, and they have to throw the football. This what you want. It's that uh this that uh three two look that Paul Paul Rod Marinelli likes to like up in. <laughs> likes to like up in who's who say that five times he likes to line up in pardon me um so the linebackers here uh are, are gonna be sean lee and Layden Layden vanderish i think we take Jalen completely off the field in these um in these obvious passing downs or, or you could leave him on the field and just blitz him but you know like i said we'll cross that road whenever we get there but demarcus lawrence at left defensive end david irving in the middle he can line up anywhere. I, I, I've seen this 3-2 set. David lines up at 2-1 and 0. And he's effective everywhere. And Randy Gregory lined up on the other side, man. This what we want to see, man. This what this what keeps us up at night, man. This 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 for this front line right here makes me lose sleep. Cause once upon a time, this dude would be Benson Mayo. This dude would be like. I don't know, like, you know, somebody ty like Tyrone Crawford or something, you know? It could have been Coney Ealy. My God, Charles Tapper, maybe. We finally get to fit Randy Gregory in there across from uh, Demarcus Lawrence next to David Irving. That's what we want to see, y'all. And it makes me, it, 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 it makes me excited. I can't wait till actual football starts so we can chase down these quarterbacks so we can chase Cam Newton, Deshaun Watson, chase around Carson Wentz and, and um, you know, Alex Smith and all those guys. But whatever. Let me, let me quit drooling. Let me move on. And last but not least, I think this is what the future is going to be. Um, I've talked about this on a, a couple different avenues, whether it be Law Nation's channel. I talked to Okoye about it. I think I did on, on Mark Holmes' channel as well. 
I think Taco Charlton is going to be our new David Irving, and David Irving is going to be playing in Cincinnati somewhere. Uh, whoever the one tech is, I don't know if they're on this team yet. I don't think we're going to pay Malik Collins, and we'll probably just draft some one tech in the fifth round and just plug him in. That's just the cowboy way. Um, why do I think Taco is going to play three tech? Because we don't necessarily like big trash can full of dirt defensive tackles. You know, we, we don't really like those guys. We like athletic guys. We like long guys, guys that can get up the field and pass rush that can be disruptive in the middle. David Irving ain't. You know, he's not a big, heavy, fat, trash can full of dirt type of guy. He's built kind of like Taco. Now, Taco's going to have to gain a little weight, but hey, David Irving did as well. But um, I think Randy Gregory's going to be with us for the long haul. I think Demarcus Lawrence gets signed here. He's 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 going to be a uh, you know he's he's going to be a Dallas Cowboy for a good long time. Whoever this one tech is going to be a you know it's going to be a piece that we get later. Whoever it is, a new challenger approaches. And I think we got Taco Charlton. Uh, I think he's going to be our long arm three tech, quick for the inside um, defensive tackle for the future. You know what I'm saying, but that's just my thoughts, man. Those are just my projections. I could be wrong. Don't, 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 don't set it in stone. Don't take it serious. Whatever. With that being said, if you like this video, do that. Leave a like. If you disliked it, there's a button for that too. Go in the comment section. Tell me what your favorite lineup would be. Tell me if I missed something. Tell me if uh, somebody's on the team that you think is gonna get cut. Tell me, uh, hey man, maybe one of these spots that player is not even on his team yet. Let, let us know. Uh, hit the subscribe button. You can come back and hit the little bell so you know when I drop random ass videos in the middle of the week just like this. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Uh, Patreon is important and the Vach's Voice podcast. Don't forget it. All right? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the Peaski Weeski. I'm gone. Salute.